From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable Fae folk. <laughs> But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fey were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha Deon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged, for ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written, at least, that is what we believed, until you died. What do you think this one is then? Alpha? God I Could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheep, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. Human. And not in bad shape. I'll mean by the look of him. You know how you can tell. Turn him over. See if there's a stick in his ass. All right then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time.
They're all over. Run! Scatter, children of dust! Scatter before the might of the Tuatha! I don't know how or even where, but your body was remade in the Well of Souls and somehow it worked. The well restored your soul to your body and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Oh, no doubt, but we must get to Hughes. He'll be in his study on the ground floor. The Tuatha are coming in through the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. And safe. The Well of Souls is just ahead. You'll see. And... and... it works! It restored you to life! There will be plenty of time to explain later. We've got to get going. I wish I could tell you more. You showed no signs of life when we removed your new body from the well's waters. We just put it in the furnace room with the others. We would have never done that if we knew. Oh my, you don't know? Uh, perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tuatha Dé Own, the enemy of all the young races. We've never seen them this far inland. Not even during the invasion. I, I don't know why they're here. Let me get this door. We can be on our way. Right this way. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> this is what they're after. Our greatest invention. The Well of Souls. Imagine an end to war. An end to death! See if you can find anything useful. Wait! Do you hear something? Grab a shield. There must be one nearby. Move! Move! More 
to offer! You're going to need more than just that sword. That one had a bow. Get it! Archers up ahead. Best shoot them before they see us. are deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their size. More up ahead. If you can sneak up on them with your daggers, you should be able to finish them quickly and quietly. Blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more incredible. What are you? How? <laughs> Save your magic for when you need it. completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you can use that staff to burn a path through. <laughs> Come on, there's no time to waste. Move, move.
We need to get you to Professor Hughes. He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. And safe. Move! Move!